Hello there. Welcome to writing class. In today's video, let's learn how to write an IELTS task one essay with the use of a diagram. So let's get started. See the diagram you see over here. When you see such diagrams, you will be kind of quite uh, difficult to write a task one essay, right? Because you have a lot of things written over here. But don't get confused. This is one of the simplest diagram. And once you understand what this diagram exactly means, then it will be really easy for you to write the, write your essay. And more than that, you just need really 150 words. Okay, so let's see how you can write easily a task one essay just using a simple diagram. See, what it is given here, it's about a solar energy. So, as you know that solar energy is is from the sun and what is happening here let's see what all elements are there then the final outcome is about the electricity creation you got it from solar energy electricity creation is given and there are some other aspects as well there is warm sea water there is cold sea water uh, and then uh, there is a heading called like you know warm sea water is converted into water vapor by solar energy and there is a temperature difference is given and then you can see like you know salt less water vapor turns turbine creating electricity and then you can see an evacuation chamber and a condensing chamber and then you can see water vapor condensed in chamber creating pure water and we here you can see pure drinking water and the waste salt water so this is our diagram and uh, it is kind of you know kind of confused but i'll explain how you can write exactly with the help of uh, this uh, diagram so uh, let's see the question first the diagram below shows the production of electricity using a system called ocean thermal energy conversion so this is about a uh, a production as you can understand this is how it is manufactured production of electricity using a system a particular system is used for the production of electricity that system is called OTEC that means ocean thermal energy conversion you got it write a report so they are asked about to write a report for a university lecturer describing the information below so your question is about the what this process you have to explain this process what is happening here it's in the form of a report to a university lecturer in 150 words that's your question okay you got it so first you have understand the key elements in this diagram so i'll and i'll tell you exactly how you can jot down the key element so first key element is the solar energy this is the starting phase right first and then you have what is final product this is electricity okay this is first and this is last so that means we have got the first stage and last stage and in between what is happening here there are two chambers that you understood one is evacuated chamber other is condensing chamber and what all are the two products outcomes are there one is like a pure drinking water you will get and where waste sea water is I mean like you know uh, it, it is discharged into the sea you, you can understand from the diagram you got it so these are the only elements and there is a turbine as well so solar energy and is the first out uh, first element and the last outcome or output is the electricity generation and it is made from the two chambers like you know evacuated evaporation chamber and condensing chamber and then how the process and final uh, product is drinking water and the waste sea water is disposed or into the sea or ocean you got it let's see uh, i'll read the um, essay then you will understand exactly how you can write so let's read the first paragraph as ocean thermal energy conversion is a system that converts heat energy into electric power using the temperature difference between surface sea water which can be up to 29 degrees celsius and a deep sea water which is only 5 degrees celsius so first i'll explain what it is then we'll move to the diagram so as i mentioned otec is a system so it is a system that much you got it and then that converts this is a system first what is our uh, i mean like you know essay topic says about it is an electricity 
okay electricity production system okay so that's the same thing is using and where solar energy we are using so we are saying instead of heat uh, solar we say heat energy into electric power okay how we convert heat energy into electric power using the temperature difference between surface sea water which can be up to 29 degrees celsius and the deep sea water which is only 5 degrees celsius with the help of this diagram i am going to explain to you see here in otec is the entire system okay this is an ocean thermal electric energy conversion system where what happens the heat energy i mean solar energy is converted into an electricity how with the use of temperature difference between the surface sea water and the cold sea water okay and the temperature is given for surface sea water is 29 degree celsius and then the cold sea water is for 5 degree celsius and with the these with the use of difference between these two temperatures and the final product of the electricity is generated you got it so that is our first paragraph ocean thermal energy conversion is a system that converts heat energy into the electric power using the temperature difference see, see the difference between surface sea water how much is surface sea water temperature 29 degrees celsius and the deep sea water how much it is 5 degrees celsius this is very very simple sentence pra just practice okay the main component now we understood the overall trend of our uh, uh, i mean the f task one now we have to move to the further details In all my uh, videos i always mention that you have to first write your main trend i mean overall trend of your essay and then you have to move to the main points you got it so let's move to the main points so the main component what is the main component of the system this is a system as i mentioned are an evacuated chamber a turbine and a condensing chamber so first you have to give what is the content so what how many contents are there three contents one is the evacuation chamber second is a turbine and third is a condensing chamber so our first part is exactly clear with your writing you got it the solar energy of the sun heats up the surface water and this warm water is introduced into the evacuated evaporation chamber where it boils so let's move to the diagram and i'll, I'll explain with the help of this diagram so let's see what this otec components it is a system consists of mainly three components okay what all are the three components first is evaporation chamber and second is our turbine and third is our condensing chamber okay with these uh, three elements we are going to generate electricity okay that just understand in simple terms okay so the first paragraph starts with the main component of the system are evacuation chamber a turbine and a condensing chamber always starts with an article a okay and uh, uh, where uh, a e an evacuation uh, evacuated evaporation chamber a turbine and a condensing chamber that's your main component so what happens what is the first stage here it what happens like you know when the energy comes from the sun and it heats up the surface water see here the energy level is heated up because from sunlight the light is coming and the top water i mean surface water is both getting heated okay then what once it is getting heated and this warm water is introduced into the evacuator you just see the diagram exactly see from like this and it moves to this way got it and then it directly goes to the evapor evaporation chamber okay then where it boils here it is boiling is going on then what happens from there it moves to up and goes to the turbines okay and then this much you understood how it is going like if from the sun top water i mean surface water from the sea is boiled and it moves to the evaporation chamber where it boils and it moves to the turbine okay so let's move to the essay then the solar energy of the sun heats up the surface water and this warm water water is introduced to the evaporation chamber where it is boiled so this exactly explains how this water is boiled and how the boiled water enters into the evaporation chamber okay as it boils the salt is deposited and the water vapor is generated so as you know that like once if it is generate uh, i mean like you know um, 
uh, this water is heated or it boiled then water vapor is generated and salt is deposited let's move to the diagram first then we will understand like once this heat water uh, boiled water is introduced into the evaporation chamber okay as you can see and then there is what happens this there is in sea water there is salt okay then this salt is deposited you can see from the diagram how this salt is deposited you got it and the remaining water i mean the water vapor moves to the turbine so that's what i explained over here as it boils it salt is deposited and water vapor is generated very simple this vapor then drives a turbine to generate electricity okay then this vapor moves there after it powers the turbine the water vapor enters the condensing chamber which is cooled by the water from the depth of the ocean okay so here let's move to the diagram here so what we said first this solar energy from here warm sea water heated up and enters into the ev evacuation chamber where it is boils and where salt is salt and water vapor is separated and it moves to the turbine from turbine it moves down and what happens and then uh, water enters into the condensing chamber okay this enters into the condensing chamber still it is hot okay but it is cooled by uh, it is getting cooled by cold sea water that is about 5 degrees celsius you can add 5 degrees celsius or not uh, doesn't matter but mention this much and then that much you understood let's move to the uh, essay then the water vapor is condensed in this chamber producing drinking water meanwhile the waste sea water is discharged into the ocean and the process can be repeated okay so let's move to the uh, diagram and then i'll explain exactly how you can write easily okay first think about that solar energy is getting from the sun and it heats up the top warm sea water okay and once it is heated and it moves to the evaporation chamber and where what happens it boils okay it boils and then salt and um, i mean like you know water vapor are getting separated and then this water vapor is goes up got it and then it it works with the turbine with the pressure and turbine works and this water comes down and where it is reaches condensing chamber and from condensing chamber what happens the cold sea water comes from here till here and as you know that this water is cold hot and when this cold sea water comes it become cold and the what happens like this water is moving into a drinking uh, i mean drinking facility and the remaining salt is uh, further deposited or further discharged back into the sea so this is clearly explains this um, diagram and uh, always just imagine that you know when you have the diagram try to understand your diagram uh, even though you do not understand exactly it doesn't matter but always understand the main points and the or the focus of your uh, essay is a must because that is what give you a better band so i hope you understood this essay easily because it's one of the simplest essays i have written and i hope you can follow if you have any queries just put me in the comment section below and thanks for watching and see you in the next video